besides being a December champion, he was a champion of the many events. Thank you, Mr. Mark. This is a game changer for Seneca Street in this old neighborhood. And in my view, this is poetic justice for, second, for Seneca Street to get a second chance. And I have a little picture, a little vignette. In 1932, this great old theater opened up, Shea Seneca Theater. And it was the glory days. The glory days of South Buffalo, the glory days of downtown South Buffalo here on Seneca Street. And then about the 1970s, business districts like this and others across the nation and across our city began to fall asleep. The advent of the malls, people got in their cars and they would go to the, to the malls all over the place. So let's talk about Seneca Street for a moment. Remembering Seneca Street has been offering second chances, has been offering second chances for the last eight years, starting in 2002. The Greater South Buffalo Chamber of Commerce started in 2002 under the leadership of Ann Anger, who has done a tremendous job, who has helped struggling businesses on Seneca Street and beyond the seven neighborhoods that she represents. She's done outstanding work. The Buffalo Niagara Partnership wouldn't know how to find this neighborhood or the seven other neighborhoods that I and Timmy Kennedy and others represent if they had a taxi service. Take them there. So the Greater South Buffalo Chamber of Commerce have given businesses a second chance to do the best that they can, and we appreciate that. South Buffalo Education Center opened up under the leadership of Stacy Watson, who is at a sister city school today in New Orleans. But we're represented here today by the board chairman, who is absolutely outstanding. I met him when he was the chief of staff for Mayor Stanley Mikowski a few years ago. Dave Kelly, where's Dave Kelly? <laughs> Over the last eight years, over 500 young people have received, have earned their GED. And there's six other programs at the South Buffalo Education Center, which all of you are aware of and all of you are a part of, and, and we welcome you uh, to that. And now, Western New York AmeriCorps, which specializes in giving people a second chance, is giving Seneca Street a second chance by their very presence and them being here each and every day, by leasing to buy the once crown gem of Seneca Street, the old Shea Seneca Theater. And they will transform it. They have already. If you were here a month ago and then come in here today, you see a transformation. And they're not done yet. Every inch of this building, hopefully, with luck, will be transformed into its original splendor. There are other businesses uh, who have helped give Seneca Street a second chance. Uh, DePaul Mental Health, which served the, the mentally ill, have a beautiful building where the old South Side bowling alley used to be towards the river. Communication Workers of America, right off Seneca and Elk, brand new building. The Perna family transformed the Be Quick into a Tops Market, and for the first time in 25 years, an international chain, Tim Hortons, has come to Seneca Street. People Incorporated, two different facilities on Seneca Street, committed to this neighborhood and, and to Seneca Street. Those are some of our partners uh, who have done outstanding work, so let's hear it from them, please. <laughs> the, the next component, uh, the mayor of the city of Buffalo has been extremely helpful to us. The congressman has been extremely helpful to us. Uh, we now are in the middle of a $1.7 million demonstration project. With all the amenities coming up and down Seneca Street, the street lights are up. Uh, soon we have the Roy Croft benches. I have one in front of my office. Uh, 25 will be up and down Seneca Street within the next several months. Uh, we will have new trees and planters and all the amenities and all the things. 
The next major step uh, that we, we are going to be involved in is having new housing components here to Seneca Street and off Seneca Street. And that is something that I know AmeriCorps is equipped to help us with, and I'm excited about that. The, the AmeriCorps not only can, they have the Youth Build Division, which Mark talked about. We can rehab houses. Um, they are now in the middle of a two-year plan from, uh, from the Department of Housing Community Renewal for mortgage counseling, especially areas 14210, which is this zip code. So we, we have multiple things uh, that, are, that are happening, and, I, and I'm very proud of my affiliation with AmeriCorps. Finally. Uh, congratulations uh, to the leadership of Western New York America. Mark Lazaro was taught not only by his parents, but by the Franciscans uh, at Bishop Tyman High School. And uh, he, he has a heart, uh, like many of you know, uh, that, that helps people do the best that they can. To the board chair, uh, our, our great friend John Greenan, uh, who has shown great, great leadership. But most important, the rank and file members of America, because that is what makes the difference. And so, when I had a chance to talk with them over the, the summer, um, I have my own version, and I'm not a holy roller, and I don't read the Bible every day, so I won't get the wrong impression here. But I have my own version of Matthew 25. And so I will say to the core members here, when the Lord, surrounded by the angels in all, all his glory, Say to the AmeriCorps members and staff, when I was hungry, when I was thirsty, when I was lonely, when I was sick, you came to help. And the AmeriCorps members with great humility will say, Lord, when did I do that to you? Lord, when did I ever do that? And the Lord will say to them, when you deliver 30 1,000 meals to the elderly and to families within our community. When you helped at-risk youth get a second chance to do good and to prevent anybody from visiting them in jail because they're doing good work, service, helping their community. Wow. When you visited and painted Dorothy Weiss's house on South Ryan Street, when you put in a wheelchair ramp this summer for the little old lady who lives off the Seneca Street who talks about you nonstop, because you helped her life. That is what service is all about. That is what is happening here on Seneca Street. And I'd like to welcome Western New York AmeriCorps to downtown Seneca Street, South Buffalo. Welcome. moment. Uh, it is my absolute honor. <laughs>